Hey there, it's Potboss and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures with our little town in Foundation. Now I have to be honest, a little update came out. You might already be able to see that uh, graphics wise. They made a few adjustments, things should run a bit smoother. Um, but it also means that there's some new content added to the game and sometimes it can make your game crash. So um, I hope that isn't going to happen this time, but we can never be sure. So we'll have to see how well this keeps running. And of course, not everything that is already um, put in the update will now also be available to us. So there should now be bandit camps on the map. I have not spotted those yet. Um, could well be that they are somewhere here out here in the dark or I don't know. But uh, so far... I don't think there's actually any bandage camps on my map right now. But we'll find out if they are. So uh, that'll be a thing. And then uh, from there on we can move on. I wonder how... Oh, that we're also almost at the edge of the map. So let's go keep exploring there. That will be interesting. Uh, but now we just have to go back to our village. And make sure that we keep running things the way they should. Oh, we still have a few buildings that... Uh, apparently are about to downgrade i thought the uh yeah the temple is up and running ah a lot of kids grew up maybe we should just do some decorations here then so that uh, those buildings won't won't downgrade too much guess we should find something that adds a good amount of desirability but also fits in here well this could fit but it's quite large we do this. This has a smaller area, but it's precisely the affected area. Although, yeah, yeah, they're still uh, going to downgrade. So we have to do a few nice pieces here, I think. Yeah, that's a very small one, so they ain't gonna work or do much good. A small park. Is there a difference in how much it will upgrade? No. All right, we'll build a uh, small park here too. That should help out. Now, once these are done, we should not see the downgrade of the buildings anymore, but we'll have to wait and find out. We don't have a lot of builders and laborers at this point, though. So that is a thing. We do have kids growing up all the time, so that might make the difference soon. Just not right now. And we have a ton of buildings that we could upgrade at some point. But with only the handful of builders that we have and some constructions that require... Um, attention first I think it's best to focus on that and not start upgrading all of these buildings straight away so let's wait until things get delivered there this needs the tree removed and stuff like that and once that's all done we can uh, finally upgrade I think we can speed up a bit though because we don't have to worry about that low desirability is making villagers want to leave yes I understand that um, but uh, we're trying to fix it. It's just not so easy. All right, we have the apiaries here in the fields, and you can see they are pretty uh, productive. As we place them, the uh, bonus honey bonus it says is eighty percent. Right here, it's seventy-eight percent. So that works. Now, somebody in the comments also suggested we could try and put one in the orchard. That might also be a good bonus. And it's a 76% bonus, a 78% bonus, 79. So yeah, it appears to have a nice bonus if you put them close to uh, some of the trees in the orchard too. So let's just try that. We'll build another one right here. So we'll have two of those in there as well. So thanks for the tip. That will produce enough honey and wax so that we have some extra food but also um, to make sure that we get uh, enough candles soon enough now we have a trader here is there anything we can sell yeah we can sell some pottery to make some money there is there also something nice that we could buy that would um, help the village out well I guess a bit more iron won't hurt we could also get a uh, blacksmiths and armories work faster. That's nice, but I don't really want that. I'm not that much into that. I think if we sell another 50, we have made all the money back that we've spent so far by doing two trades. So we don't uh, have an issue there anymore. 
And we can just sell another 50. Why not? Predators are attacking. Oh, that's a boar, probably. All right. Well, that's a productive trade. We got some nice goodies from that. They've built this park. It's a small park. This sh ah, it doesn't completely do the trick, but almost. Let's uh, upgrade it. Kind of hoping that they will finish this too. We don't want these buildings to downgrade because as soon as they do... It's interesting though that this building apparently is happy enough. These aren't. If it downgrades, we have an issue. Because then we uh, have not enough space for all of our villagers anymore. What if we build the large park right here? It won't cover everything, but at least it will cover this bit. But if we do it right here somewhere, it might cover a bigger area right here. However, the issue is with this. This building does not have the desired desirability. Interesting, though. Ah, well, we'll just have to wait it out a bit, I guess. Make sure that it all gets ready. There's another merchant. That could be interesting, too. Maybe they offer a better price for some products, or... Not really. Flux cops produce 50% more yield. That's nice, but I don't know why I would get that. Could get a bit of sand, but I think if we expand the sand mines, that would also work. All right, housing shortage, two buildings abandoned, four villages graduated. Yeah, I was afraid that might happen. Now, it could well be that as soon as these get all uh, ready, that, that is fixed and those houses will uh, be occupied again. Right now it is a bit of a problem. Apparently they did something to the uh, desirability of certain buildings. Because I believe last time we fixed it. And now again it is not fixed. Right, what does this one offer? Hunter cabins yield more meat. Oh, I don't need more meat. We have plenty of meat. So that's not an issue. There's nothing of this I want to sell. So okay. It's all good. A villager died. Child has grown up. Alright, so they now make this park. This should now be good enough because it's above the three line. Yes, it is. So that's good. This is still below it. So we have one building here that should be downgrading. These are still not up to par as well. But that might change out soon. And because some of these houses... All right, we accept new villagers. That's fine. Some of these houses should be in the running again. But uh, I guess it's best to just expand the whole housing situation. Let's build three right here. Let's build a road around it. Sometimes building the road can be a bit hard. There we go. Alright, well, this should be good enough. That's three houses. Uh, I don't think it's enough to, to complete all problems. But as soon as this, oh, this is upgraded, that might already work. Yeah, let's upgrade this one too. Predators are attacking. Probably another bear there. Yep. Let's hit the bear. We have too many villagers now anyway, so if we lost, lose one or two, that's not too bad. We'll just get new kits for it. Yeah, these are all basically fixable problems. They just take a little bit of time. So once these get up to the right level, it's fine. These two should be okay soon. I think we should just build the big park here, though, just in order to... Uh, have most problems fixed straight away. This is all still good. We just need some stones. And then we can upgrade to tier 4. And get going with um, some nice tier 4 buildings. Like deep mines and stuff. Ah, that won't be too bad. This is all pretty okay. Although we have a few very unhappy villagers. We can see that luxury is good though. Beer they're not confused about. 23 villagers are unhappy, but they don't say why, and most are very high, so I'm not too concerned about it. It's probably those villagers that don't have a house right now. I would be pretty unhappy too if I didn't have a house. Alright, this got some uh, stones in already. And kind of hoping that they'll bring in more soon. 
I don't know where these all are going, but they're probably picking up the waste. More kids growing up. That also means probably, yeah, we have 17 laborers now. Let's get up to 10 builders. That will have us 12 laborers. We'll still need more, but at least it's something. I guess the village will have to adjust a bit to the problems that we have had so far. And once we do, it should be fine. I also think we can make another batch of houses here. Oh, we're out of logs. <laughs> That's an issue. Well, these are going for the logs all the time, so let's keep going like that. These should really get a lot of wood in. And if that's not enough, yeah, we've selected enough to be chopped down. They're just not going to do that because we don't have the laborers for it. And still 24 needed. 13 uh, building things. All right, this is now going to work out. And all of a sudden the negatives here are gone. That's interesting. They fixed it here, so these are now... Nice enough. Ah, that's because of the large park. That's the thing. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Um, so this whole area is now fixed. Now we just need to fix these. Ooh, they might already be almost there. 65%. Then they can reoccupy these houses. That will be good. And we have enough housing space again. All right. Well, that's moving in the right direction. That's good. Let's keep that up. They've built this road now. That's also an added bonus. We'll just leave them to it with um, upgrading those roads and the uh, park and stuff and as soon as that's all done we're going to upgrade our defenses here by upgrading a few towers i think doing that will be a very important thing although i think we should also just build roads here normal roads so that they can actually enter this quick enough the faster they can walk towards the towers the better it is of course so let's make sure they can do that. We have a lot of housing space free now. Apparently a few more houses got to, to a point where they uh, are now in the desirability, right desirability zoning. So let's keep that up. This one is now active. So this one should be fine, I think. 64. Hmm. Interesting though. You build a park and it seems to go down and not go up. That's a bit weird. Seven new villages born. We had a few kids growing up. Villager died. Yeah, that's also happening apparently. Villager died. Okay. Well. Should not be too bad. All in all. But. Um, so we just see. If these spring up around town. All of a sudden this building isn't in the right state anymore. Which is weird. So. I'm trying to understand why that happens. But there appears to be no clear clue on why all of a sudden a type of building is no longer in a desired area like this is it because some of the buildings around them are just degrading and then all of a sudden they don't like it anymore or i wonder what that is luckily we still have plenty of space so even if a house starts to uh, be abandoned i think we should still be fine they just relocate to a new house and it should all be okay. Alright, they built this road. That's good. They are working on making this a stone road. That's also very good. This should also be done by now. Ah, oh, they're doing this part. Now I guess they still have to do this little part. Then that should be okay too. I have a feeling we're going to get a new raid in soon. I hope not because we're not fully prepared. Especially if they have mobile siege equipment and stuff, then that might pose a little problem. But we'll find out. Alright, this is another road upgraded. This is now upgraded. Very good. So they're busy with that. And basically they're doing a lot of the uh, pro projects that we had planned for them. I'm just checking. Here's a little road that we should upgrade yet. Here's one too. I guess once these are all upgraded, um, that will go a long way into all roads that we designated to be upgraded. I think so. Yeah, it is. Eight new villagers born. Okay. 
Um, three kids grew up, four kids grew up. That's another 17 laborers. Now that's better. Now we can see that the number of builders is going down. So there's not enough work for the builders. That's the cue for upgrading some of these towers. That is the queue. And then hopefully we keep getting more people in. Or growing up basically. So that we can put them in the uh, extra towers. Because now there's only one in each tower. And I believe we can add extra to the new ones. Well that would be good because then they're really strong towers. We also need to pay for the soldiers though. So we'll have to keep that in mind. And we have a trader. Oh no not yet. But it was there already. It's on its way. There he goes. Oh well, it's tough, but we're getting there. Trying to master everything and, and get into the right spots for... Um... One villager is sick. Okay, a new traveling merchant arrived. Very good. Let's see what he has to offer. He sells some cheese. That's good. Cheese will stay good for long, but... Um... Oh well, what's this? Soldiers upkeep cost reduced by 30%. That should save us a lot of money. Oh, I think that's a very good one. Let's transfer some gold to the trading post. And then get this one. That should really lower the cost of our soldiers. They're 149 right now. So this would save us a lot of money. Bye. Alright, I want that. And now we have that. Now we should place it in the shrine. And now the soldiers' upkeep should be reduced soon enough. I guess they still have to bring it or something. I don't know. We'll find out. But I hope it works. It's not just something, but it really works. The relic spirituality bonus. That's good. We get a spirituality bonus. And then I guess, I guess by the end of the year when this is recalculated, we should see the difference. And save money on it. Um, yeah, we already see 112 now for the guard training. So guards are cheaper now. So we can just put in extra guards in these towers. And that should do the trick. Right, let's get these extra guards now. Upgrade this tower too. I guess we're selecting the wrong tower here. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're losing plants to heat stress. Which is interesting because so far that ha all happened. Ah, I think they made some adjustments here too. Because these are now not so good in the heat anymore. Uh, I think we need to switch these over, by the way. Because these are better in the cold. Eight kids grew up. Two new villagers born. That's nice. That means that we have a better amount of laborers yet again. Housing shortage. Oh. We have some houses not being so good for us right now. Let's upgrade the well. Because it also has a desirability effect. But let's also upgrade the uh, park. I think that might do... A good job for the whole um, area here. As well as maybe building some of those smaller decorations. I mean if we can just build a small one here that has a desired effect. I think it will. It will just make things good enough. Medium plaza. That's too big. But we can get this little park. It also adds desirability. That was the wrong button. And uh, we can just place it like that. Question is, here are these buildings. Yeah, I was missing those. So if we build this right here, that should take care of this whole batch. And that should increase the amount of spaces that we have. But again, we're losing houses. Now we're losing houses here. It's totally weird that all of a sudden buildings that are perfectly happy... Lose that happiness. So they had to have done something to it. That starts to... Basically adjust, I guess. So it has effects. But maybe once buildings start to degrade or something. The effects will wear off a little bit. And we'll have to... Uh, heal them or make them better or whatever. I don't really know. We have to do something in order to uh, fix it. It is interesting and annoying. Ah, we have a medium garden here. Let's upgrade that too. 
All right, so we have a few upgrades running now. Hopefully that works and provides us with the housing space again. We can see it's still going down. We were at 411, now we're down to 409. Now this statue is built. That could... Yeah, it makes a difference for this building, I believe. And hopefully for this one. Not this one yet. Or kids grew up, a new merchant arrived. Oh, busy, busy. What does he have to offer? Well, he offers a good price for some pottery. So let's do that. Anything we really want. Shield and hide coats provide plus four armor. Oh, nice. I'm not going to buy that, but uh, it's a nice thing. Yeah, we're good with most of this. And another house degraded. But also once one or two got good again. That works. And this one is almost in the green. Let's upgrade this park. That should probably do the trick. Nine people have arrived. All right, let's accept them. And we have to build extra houses again, of course. But at least we, uh, we grow. And I think having some growth in our little town is also vital. Now that we have 32 laborers, we actually get jobs done. And that is important to me. Right, we've upgraded three towers here so far. I'm just going to upgrade them all. I don't care. I gotta do the other side too because we are pretty vulnerable right now. They still have to upgrade all of this, and as long as they don't do that, I know I'm not sure those towers will work. I also don't think that we're gonna get a rate right now. I think if they would have come, they would have already been here, so that should be okay. Uh, let's see, because this one is not completely filled up, so we don't have to upgrade that one yet. We're good on all of this. Firewood splitter, that's fine. We might upgrade this one and get some extra arrows going. I think actually that is a good one to do, so let's upgrade this one. I believe we also had one already, one extra. That is, yeah, here's the Fletcher. This one is making the bows and the crossbows. Um, wonder. Yeah, we already have a surplus of crossbows. We also have 60 bows left. Do think we need them both. So let's keep it up like this. But maybe we should focus slightly more on the crossbows than on the normal bows. Because the crossbows are stronger. So we'll produce two crossbows for every bow that we produce. That might be a good solution. Looks like all the buildings here now got into the right... Um, desirability just this one is still not there yet but for that we can just upgrade this well that might just make the slight difference it needs another kid grew up all right so our village is now really growing actually i wasn't anticipating that but um no oh, that's nice seven villagers born well Things start to go better and better for us, actually. Nice large paved park. I'm thinking let's get six soldiers in here so that they can really train up and have all the weaponry and stuff so that these are ready to go somewhere and, and, and go on to the offensive if we have to. That might be something. Did they go here already? No, I was, I was afraid they would not really go on the... Uh, On the research here. Have to find out later if they will. But apparently there's so many jobs to be done. That they're not going to do that straight away. It's okay though. I mean it's not a problem. But uh... Alright. What does it cost to upgrade this? Not too much. Uh, this will be also very helpful. Because then they can plant trees too. It'll ensure a steady supply. We have another building apparently that. Uh... 11 buildings abandoned. No, these are not abandoned. I don't know why it says 11 buildings abandoned. There's one abandoned, that's it. Maybe we have to visit them all and then this message will go away. I can't click it away, so... Alright. Well, we do make good money. And although we have the extra guards and stuff, it's still not really showing in that it's increasing our cost. So that's good. We still have some swords left. That works out. 
So maybe it's time now to get some, some shields and armor and things like that? Are we not getting any of that? Doesn't appear so. We're, we are creating a lot of uh, iron and things, but... Uh, 81 iron left. Okay. Well, I thought we might have already gotten armor or something like that, but apparently we don't. So let's check it out. The book binder. The paper mill. That's nice. Could also get to that at some point. Yeah, I believe the armor is somewhere here. Yeah. All right. This is interesting. The armory. It produces shields and those kind of coats. Apparently they don't really mind living next to one. So that is good. I'm just going to build it right here. Let's see how that goes and what it does. Oh, there is a building on fire. Ah, that's a minor problem. We have a trader here. Sometimes they like to sell iron to us, which is good because we can use good amounts of iron. We're not producing that much ourselves. Can we also sell it something? Nah, there's not a lot that I want to sell it. All right. This one got upgraded too. It should just be making arrows, not anything else. And how are we doing with the people now? 28 laborers. Ah, the village is being raided. There we go. Ooh, they come in from this side. And they have a siege weapon now. Oh, this is tough because now they can just rampage through our whole town. We do see that we have a nice amount of villagers though. I think I'm going to flag the combat area right there. And then at least they'll go here. We have some soldiers ready to fight. Trying to get a few more. I think these will already be in. Yeah, yeah they come. Now they might just go for things like granaries and marketplaces. Uh, but since we have no defenses in these areas. It is a problem because. Um, yeah, this is just going to tear through some of my walls. I guess what we can do is just this and then tell it to uh, rebuild. <laughs> We can already start with that. That's fine. I just hope they don't really start attacking my theater and stuff like that. Because those are costly to rebuild. They should be getting onwards to the village here. And we have our defenses up. But, hmm. I'm not so sure that is going to be sufficient. Luckily we killed one. That is something. And here we have troops actually starting to fight. Why is it attacking my large house? That's a bit weird. There's another bunch of people here. Alright, they are all coming in. My towers and stuff start to fight. So that is good. I think we're going to lose a few people though. Let's rebuild this lookout tower. So at some point it is time to actually start building towers all around town. And not just... In the other places. But I think if we're going to go for tier 4 buildings. And get a deep uh, gold mine. And really get some gold mining going. That might go a long way into helping out. 48 raiders. 49. Alright we killed a third of the raiders already. That's working out. We just need a lot more defenses. And we need to bring in more gold and iron for that. Ah they also got in here. That's interesting because these are really firing on them and trying to kill them. And that appears to be working out too. Killed 55 raiders. Some of my villagers are fighting the raiders. That's good. They're really chasing them. I like that. Two raiders are attempting to breach the walls. Well, I thought they were already in. But hey, they can keep attempting. That's okay. I think they're all fleeing now. So why worry about this? Let's get these up and running. Let's tell them to return to barracks. Let's get people out of here. We'll just remain with the six that we had. 58 raiders have been killed. All right. Well, we uh, survived. <laughs> That's um, an interesting way of putting that. We kind of got our asses kicked with our defenses here, but we managed to survive. That's also a nice thing. Let's speed up again. Come on, let's get my soldiers back. They don't need to start chasing this. Although, it might be nice to kill that uh, little machine they have here. That would be cool. Just to tell them to uh, 
no longer come by we'll kill your stuff there we go i like that all right i wonder if there's a raiders camp somewhere here that we have not found yet that would be also be interesting but i don't think so village was raided nothing pillaged they destroyed a few buildings but there's three walls and one tower they killed only three villagers and we killed a good chunk of them so that's nice I also hope that the fact that we killed quite a few will um, lower the chance of getting into another raid. I think that would be very nice if it works that way. So the more you kill, the longer it takes them to basically rebuild their soldier amount. And then it takes longer for them to, uh, to actually come to your town. That would be really nice. All right. I think it's time to get at least some uh, defenses up on different side of the village. Um, is this helping? Not really. Why can't I build it right there in the corner? Basically, want to build it right here. Alright, let's just clear this. See if we can build a tower here. See, we can build it right here. That's pretty close. And then we can just build a new road like this. All right, three towers up on this side. That should at least slow them down a bit. We might be able to get some extra walls around it too to help out. Not ideal, but at least it's something. This is well protected, so I can understand that they're not really getting into that. Low desirability makes people want to leave. Yeah, that's their house. <laughs> they already left there quite a few times now, and it should now be up again. So that house should be fixed soon. We also still have towers here that need upgrading. Uh, but we don't have stones for that. Okay. Interesting. This got upgraded though. So they're now also planting trees. I thought we already had one of these focused on stone mining. Yeah. Right here. Let's get two extra people in there and make sure that these just mine stone all the time. Alright, that should help things out. And then... Ah, we get the armory soon. I think having better weapons and stuff will also work. And having a good portion of our population focused on defense in the barracks might also be a good thing. I think this is very good. As soon as we get some shields, these will be better protected as well. Then at some point we might be able to get some better armor. That's all not bad. I think we should also uh, see if we can actually do something like this. So that this area is walled off. And they can't get in here that easily. Maybe we can build one or two extra towers here. So these resources in here are defended too. Not that there's a lot of resources. But at least we have that spot there. And I think that's good. A few villages grew up. New kids got born. Ah, nice. Alright, let's get going like this. Build that little piece of road. Yep, this house is now functional again. So we don't have any degraded houses anymore. That's perfect. This tower is trying to get weaponry, but then it's done. Do we still have swords and stuff? Oh yeah, we still are good with the weapons. Getting more and more crossbows, precisely what I want to. So that works. Ooh, and we have the armorer. Perfect. All right, let's get a few people in there because we need to start making some armor. Do we have enough hides? 175. All right, that will probably go down pretty fast now. So that might be something to work on. Oh, we can see that happiness is going up. The unhappy people are gone and there's more and more happy people. So that worked out. So it has been interesting. I think with the new update, we had to deal with some of the issues that arose in town, especially in terms of the desirability, but we got them fixed. We are working on our defenses. We finally have a decent amount of laborers now. So that's all working. We still have plenty of food. And we did work on our defenses. <laughs> Not on the right place for the last raid. But we did work on the defenses. So uh, we're getting there. 
and there's plenty of things to be done for the next episode so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so please subscribe to my channel leave all your comments in the comment section i will respond to them and then of course i hope to see you in a brand new video thank you so much and bye bye